what's up guys this is pro warriors in this video we are going to show you how to set up the new nintendo switch emulator so you on your pc and laptop if you are one of these people who want to enjoy nintendo switch games on your computer this is the right tutorial for you better to be mentioned suyu is built from the user source code which was the best nintendo switch emulator in this video we are going to cover how to download and install suyu emulator initial setup guide how to install product keys and firmwares configuration and best settings then how to manage nintendo switch rooms then install them let's turn our computer into a nintendo switch console please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button The first thing we need to do is download and install the Suyu emulator on our computer. We will get the Suyu software from the GitHub page or you can join our Discord server because I have shared the direct link on our Discord server. Please check description for the link. Currently Suyu emulator is available only on Windows and Android operating system but very soon it will also release for Mac OS and Linux operating system. One more important information i would like to mention suyu requires the latest version of microsoft visuals c++ if you are not sure your pc already has this then go ahead and download microsoft visuals c++ and install it now i'm going to install in the suyu emulator on my windows machine so i'm just going to click on the nintendo windows button here it will immediately start downloading you can see the size of the file is just 29 megabytes bytes once the download finishes we need to extract the file because it comes in a gif format if you don't have any extractor on your pc or laptop you can download 7zip which is a reliable and free zip extractor let's right click on the file go to the zip extractor and extract the suyu windows zip once it done extracting we will get a folder containing all the extracted files now you can delete the zip file from your desktop then open the new extracted folder inside this folder you will find an executable file with a unique icon that is the yuzu emulator before we are going to launch the yuzu we need three elements that are needed to run suyu emulator you can see i have already downloaded these elements on my computer we need product keys then firmwares for suyu and most importantly nsp roms or nintendo switch games guys don't worry because i will show you how and from where i get these files let's go ahead and just double click on it to launch the suyu emulator when you launch the suyu emulator it will say encryption keys are missing without these keys suyu won't let us play any games no need to worry about this warning because we are going to install our keys so our first step is to install product keys as i said before i have already downloaded my product keys you might be wondering where i get these keys you can easily download these files from google just open a browser and type on the search bar suyu port keys or product keys there are lots of sites where you can find product keys for suyu emulator after downloading the file you can see that the file is in gif format so unzip the file then delete the gif file after that open the extracted folder here you can see there are two keys plot keys and title keys now go to the suyu emulator and open file option which is at the top left corner then open the suyu folder from there open the keys folder and here you have to paste the both keys so copy or cut the plot keys and title keys then paste it into the keys folder of a suyu emulator now you can close the window our next step is to install firmware this file is also something we need to arrange ourselves you might be wondering why did i get this firmware files to download the firmware files we need to do the same thing as we 
did for product keys. Just search on Google Suyu firmware. If you can find the firmware, you can join our Discord server. I will definitely like to help you. After downloading the firmware, we have to extract the file, then delete the zip file. After that, open the extracted folder. To install firmware on Suyu emulator, again go to the file option, then open the Suyu folder, then open the NAND folder, then open the system folder. After that, open the content folder. At the last, open registered folder. Here we have to paste the firmware files. Mark everything by clicking Ctrl plus A key on the keyboard. You can drag or copy and paste all the files into the emulator folder. So guys, our initial setup of the emulator is complete. Let's install games on Suyu emulator. To add games on Suyu, double click on the add button. It will open your file manager. Just navigate to the folder where you have stored Nintendo Switch games. Now many of us will be afraid which games we should download and from where we can download these games. I have given compatibility game list of Suyu. This compatibility list tells us which games are perfectly playable from this list if you download any games you just need to download the NSP file of that game make sure you have unzipped the game file then move it to the dedicated folder after that click on save button and your game should be displaying in the game library here we are almost ready to launch a game but there are a couple of things we still need to do go to emulation at the top bar then go down to configuration the very first thing we are going to do is go into the the general settings where we will see hotkeys if you want to know your options for your keyboard hotkeys then go ahead and take a look other options are not important so switch to the system option here you can set region language time zone etc here you have option to set ram up to 8 gb but i recommend it to use 6 gb of ram one more important option you need to do disable speed percentage to use the maximum resources under the the option of a CPU always set accuracy to auto to avoid unwanted errors let's jump into the graphics option I found that Vulkan is the best API on Nvidia as well as AMD graphics card there is also OpenGL you can also try and find out which one gives you best performance if you would like to change the screen ratio there is an option expect ratio you can also increase or decrease the resolution up to 8k but i suggest using the native resolution of your monitor to avoid crashes or bugs let's go over to the advanced settings accuracy level indicates the graphics quality if you start playing some games and it seems that your games are shuttering you may want to come back to the advanced graphics settings and turn your accuracy level from high to normal let's go down to the controls you can see player one two three are actually for different controls controllers the default control method is set to keyboard if you want to change the keys just put your desired keys in the controls but i found the default keys to be perfect here make sure that control mode is in docked mode when you are all done here click on the save button now back to the input screen let's launch a game guys you can see batman trilogy is now running on my suyu emulator if you took a look here it's running at full speed with decent appears suyu is a newborn emulator and it has a long way to go and i hope in future the emulator can run most of the recent games please like and subscribe to our channel no more today see you in the next video take care